Welcome and or welcome back to Journey to Peace with me. This is my Stuffing Sunday video. I have my money, my sinking fund, and my wallet. Y'all get ready? Y'all ready? You sure? Let's hop into it. I'm going to put that to the side. I'm going to go ahead and take my money out and put it together. Um, because I have already gone to church for today and I needed to pay my tithe, I took that money out so I won't have to stuff that part for this video. Hopefully this money is right this time. How y'all been doing? How y'all uh, been handling this March mining challenge? Let me know in the comment section down below. I know a lot of you hung with me in the hashtag feed yourself February challenge and I appreciate you for that. I hope you are hanging in there as well for these hashtag March mining challenge. I think this week is going to um, pose an opportunity for us to be really creative with our meals <laughs> because we have a whole lot of chicken left and uh, these folks may be mad at me about these chicken dishes if I can't get creative with them and we're eating the same kind of chicken over and over and over. But this challenge was good because it forced me to go into the deep freezer and oh my goodness, there was so much stuff in there. So let's go ahead and open up this wallet here. Take out the categories. We'll go ahead and put them here. Um, and I need to take out my cheat sheet. So my sister and I decided that we are gonna go ahead and switch to Xfinity Mobile. Um, based on the comments in the comment section down below, we did go ahead and start asking people how Verizon works in our area. Um, my husband actually is on Verizon, so I was able to talk to him. I know that his phone works when we're in the house. Um, I know that his phone typically works whenever we are anywhere. And because we are in Florida um, and we deal with hurricanes, I know that his service is usually pretty good even during the hurricane season. And I looked into whether um, we would become preferred customers during that hurricane season, and the answer to that was yes. So we're gonna go ahead and switch, and that will be effective come April. Because my sister had to pay off her phone first. So in April, we'll have that, but for March, we still have to pay our phone bills. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and stuff this restaurant category. And the goal again is to save as much of this money as we can, even though it's allotted. I'm not going to be as strict with not eating out, but I, you know, if we don't have to, we won't. So it's gonna get five 20s, two 10s, No, it gets three tens. 30. Three fives and five ones. So what I think I'm gonna do this pay period is if I can, I'm going to break a big bill so that we can get fives and ones for the fives and ones challenge. Um, maybe, because if you watch 
the upcoming video, you'll see the challenges that we've been having with the fives and ones challenge. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this here into the wallet. The next category is gonna be date night and date night is gonna get $75. It's gonna get 150, 120 and 15. And although we have not been using this money recently, we're going to need it for um, our annual couples trip. So that's the reason why I'm still stacking it here. Next up is groceries and groceries is going to get $250. It's going to get two $100 bills because this is how I, I carry it. Um, one twenty each for each week and then a five for each week. So that's how it's broken up here. 125 week one, 125 week two. When I start using week, week one's money, I go ahead and fold week two's money so it sits in there like so, so I don't get confused, but all of it stays in here. So it's 250. The goal for this pay period is to see if, um, when I do my unstuffing video, if we can have at least 125 left over. That's the goal. All right, gas is going to get um, 175 and that is going to be three fill ups for me, even though I've only really been using two and a half. No, that, that counts for three and a half fill ups. I've only been using two and a half fill ups um, per pay period, but the extra money goes toward the um, car insurance premium or car washes or oil changes or whatever I need for the car. So that's gonna get 350s, 120, 120, and 15. I'm gonna go ahead and put this there. Next up is miscellaneous, and I'm going to try not to spend this money. I might have to though, because I'm traveling for a conference for work, so I might have to spend it. So this is going to get 320s, 210s, 35s, and 5 1s. So allowance, I'm still putting it here even though um, Big Girl hasn't earned her allowance recently. I'm still gonna put it there. She is going to get a $20 bill. The little ones each get $10 and they get um, a $5 bill and then five ones. And their chores are really simple. It's keep your rooms clean, keep your bathroom clean. The little ones have to put the dishes away after the Big Girl washes them. Um, Big Girl has to wash the dishes keep the bathroom clean, keep her room clean, and you know, keep the living room, family room area clean. I don't think there's that much to ask. All right, so little girl goes in front, big girl goes here, and then my son goes in the back. I mean, look, I don't think I'm asking for the stars with these chores. And some weeks, these folks don't even do it because there's, for some reason, there's this sense of entitlement where we don't have to do anything. All we need to do is go to school. And, um... Yeah, let me take some. That don't work for me. Like, at all. <laughs> like, that's not how any of this works. Um, you have to hold your weight here. Otherwise, you don't get any money. You don't get anything from me because I'm allowing you the space here. And I'm trying to teach you how to be um, an adult, really, because when you get out on your own, you're going to have to do these things. And for big girl, that is in a couple of years because she's about to go into high school. Um, so she's got to get her stuff together. All right, so what else goes in my wallet is phone bill money. That's going to be 150, 120, and 110. So the $50 is for the phone bill. If you're new here, the extra 30 is just extra um, that I budgeted for. And what we have been using this money for recently has been to get us to 
the games because my daughter's a cheerleader and her games cost money. Um, so that's been helpful to have that money there, that extra. All right, so next up we have 150 and that's gonna go for the littles and this is their aftercare fee. This is for my mother. If you're new here, my mom watches my little people after school and although she doesn't charge us, this is what we give her. Um, and this is just a love offering that we provide her. So I told you at the beginning of the video, I already did my tithe for the month and that would have been, or tithe for the pay period, that would have been $200. I already did that at church. So that is it for the stuffing of my wallet. So we'll set that aside. Now we are on to the sinking funds. And yes, I sink my, <laughs> yes, I do sinking funds even though we are going through uh, the Dave Ramsey baby steps and we are on step two and all of this, all of this money could be used for our debts. But for us, because these are things that are coming up, I think we need to plan for them um, so that we aren't using the emergency fund because a birthday came up or we aren't using the emergency fund because we want to do something for the kids for Christmas or a doctor's appointment. If I can try and save a little bit for it, I will. And by a little bit, I mean, you'll see in a minute if you're new here. So the first things up is vacation. I'm gonna go ahead and put that here and that's $100. Um, I do and I will always plan for a vacation for my children, even though that is not really um, a Dave mentality because we're on baby step two. I think it's very important for my children to go on family vacations. That's just what it is, point blank period. I'm always going to do it. Um, I understand that people do things differently and their gazelle intense means we don't go on vacations. That's not this channel, okay? So please understand that. The next hundred is just for savings. And that's gonna go here. Um, I did end up having to spend some of the savings money last pay period because my little people have decided that they need <laughs> different shoes because they are, their feet are growing. Um, so I, I, we had to buy them shoes and the baby girl, like she had the audacity to grow on us, um, for all of the years of her life, she has been getting hand-me-down clothes, um, from my niece and she has decided that she is going to surpass my niece and outgrow her. So now we don't get those hand-me-downs and we were forced to buy her her own clothes for the first time in all of her seven years. I know, right? How dare she? <laughs> How dare she grow up and make us spend money on her? So we emptied that category and now we are restocking it. All right, so what's next? We need to do um, gymnastics and gymnastics is going to get $65. It's going to get 150, one, 10, and one, five. That's going to be for gymnastics. Uh -oh. I'm going to fold that because that sits in front of her little savings. And then we have $50 and this is for big girls aftercare. So we're going to fold that and it's going to sit right here. And then we have big girls laptop. She's going to get $45. She's going to get two 40s. And one five, and this is for a laptop for her for um, for high school. And then let's go ahead and stuff these other categories. First up, we're going to do birthday. Big girl's birthday is coming up. I'm honestly still deciding whether we're going to get her something. Let me know in the comment section down below. She has not been earning her allowance. Is it too rough of a parenting move to say you don't live up to the expectations here? You get nothing for your birthday. Let me know in the comment section down below. You guys can help, it, help me out with that. 
Um, so that's going to get $17. Christmas is going to get $17 as well. Car is going to get $17. We're going to skip vacation because I just put the money there. I'm going to skip that one. Um, that It says daddy, but it's actually my son's saving. It was there when I first started and I owed my parents money. Um, and school is going to get $15 or $17. Rather, home repair is the next category, and that's going to get 17. The doctor is the next category, and that is going to get 17. And then the last category to be stuffed is personal, and that's going to get the $21. All right, so that's it for this Stuffing Sunday. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you found this video a little entertaining, let me know in the comment section down below. And let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed, go ahead and do so. You made it to the end of this video. Go ahead and do so. Hit that button down below. It is free and you can join the family. Take this journey with us. All right. And until next time, journey on.